welcome to Body Basics. Uh, today is just going to be like a 20 minute kind of just standing. Um, we're going to do some balance at the end too, so let's just get started. We're going to warm up here just with some nice marching. Just nice marching here. Picking those feet up. Oh. And it doesn't feel like Friday to me. It doesn't feel like a Friday. Let's bring those heels back, arms out. At least we survived that Wednesday heat. That was bad. Let's go in here. Let's reach across. With any of the workouts today, you can do with or without weights too. Whatever you're feeling. I got the mighty three pounders. Upgraded from twos. Reach up here. Again, with or without weights. Just nice and easy. After this, we'll do a little stretching and get right into it. Let's bring those arms down. And let's go left to your left shoulder. Favorite stretch. Could do this for hours. Right ear, right shoulder. Coming out of this here. All right, starting out just with some simple bicep curls. So elbows at our side, palms up, curling. For this one, you could do palms face each other. You could work the forearms a little bit and do palms face the ground. Whatever you're feeling, just up and down here. Really nice. I got my buddy Mike in the back working out with me today. He was not paid. Not paid yet. Bring those hands up to the shoulders, shoulder press. So again, same thing, palms could face forward. Palms could face each other. We got Scott back again. Always great to have him. He was doing shoulder presses with 35s earlier. No problem for Scott. My younger self used to be able to do that. Can't anymore. Bring those hands down. Keeping the arms straight here for a couple. So, palms are gonna face the ground, out to the side and back. Yeah, bring those hands to shoulder height, up and down. Hearing some cracks in the shoulder. Roll it out if you need to. We're going to make it fun here in a second. Just hold those hands up to the side like you're a T. If you want to make it harder, you can do a single leg balance. You could say, nope, not today, Josh, and just not do that. Whatever you're feeling. Fly it out to the side one more time. Doing good. Keep breathing throughout the whole workout. And after. Hold it one more time. Doing great. The three pounders feel like 50. And relax. A little stretch here, some shoulder rolls forward. I feel like I'm really getting to pay Mike after this one. So far it's been tough. Oh, let's go backwards here, those shoulder rolls. Nice and slow. And any time in the workout too, we can do some shoulder rolls. You could do some head tilts, whatever you're feeling. All right, arms straight, palms face each other, out to the side and back, out to the side and back. Some nice chest flies here, keeping those hands shoulder height. I always say, just pretend you're at a family gathering, you wanna leave really fast, give the hug goodbye. Okay, next person, hug goodbye. Keep it going. Mike just had to show me up and switch to the 10 pounders. 
three, two, relax. Let's get the arms a break. Toes pointing forward for this one. Hook some calf raises up on the toes and down. Up and down. Just working those calves a little bit, giving the arms a little break. <sighs> Keep it going. A few more. Three, two, and one. Keeping that left foot planted on the ground. Right leg is going to go out to the side and back. For this one, really make sure those toes are pointing forward still rather than coming out like this. Toes point forward. Using some balance here. Doing good. Let's switch those legs. Other one out to the side again. Toes pointing forward. Out. For this one, I always think you got your bags of groceries, the car door still open. Close the door. There's probably a more efficient way to do that, but I'll look into how I grocery shop. Keep it going. Three, two, relax. In and out curls, back to the arm. So, elbows at our side, curling forward, out to the side. Forward, out to the side. Doing good. Elbows by our side. I feel like these three pounders are actually like 10 pounds. Keep those curls going, keep those elbows in. Three, two, relax. Some balance next here. So, using the legs, some tandem balance. So, for that tandem balance, heel the to toe. If you want to make it a little bit easier, bring that foot out a little bit. But if you want to make it harder, line it up. And with or without weights, chair by you if you want to, to catch yourself. Hands together. And twist. Twisting to one side, twist to the other. Doing good. So again, at home, if you don't want to use weights, you don't have to. And if you feel like you don't have enough support, make sure you have a chair by you, just in case. Maybe start out just with the tandem balance to start. And then add that twist later on. Twisting to your comfort. You don't have to twist super far back like this. A tiny twist will do. Three, two, relax. Switch those feet. We gotta do the other one now. So again, heel to toe. Bring that foot out a little bit to make it a little bit easier. Once we get that balance, hands together, and we're twisting, and we're twisting. If you ever wanna make it a little bit harder, you can bring the arms out a little bit more, like so. Twisting to your comfort. There we go. Keep twisting. Really good one for balance. Ooh, as I tip there, I jinxed myself, gosh. Important to pass, <laughs> very important to practice. Three, two, Relax here. Hand shoulder height, alternating shoulder press. So palms facing each other, 
reaching up here and up. Even I mess up on the balance, so don't be afraid to have that chair by you. And make sure you're on a nice, firm floor. You don't want to do that on carpet or on a pan of jello for some reason. Just using those shoulders a little bit here. Three. Two. Relax. We're going to go back to a tandem balance here. So just like we did, heel to toe. Bring that foot out a little bit if you want to. Line it up. From here, we're going to do a tandem calf raise. So up on the toes and down. Up on the toes and down. Just like the last tandem too. You don't have to go really fast. You could go at a nice gentle pace. You could take a break, hold that balance, then when you're ready, come up and down. So really control how fast you want to do it. You could do fast, slow. I'm sure as I switch the legs, I'm going to fall next time too. But by that chair, if you want to be, we're going to be here for about five more days until the camera cuts off. Three to relax, switch those feet. Get that balance. And again, up on the toes and down. We were practicing this one earlier and Scott behind the camera showed me he can do it on his hands. Palm to fingertips. Very impressive. Up and down. Again, by that chair if you want to be. When I balance, I like to kind of fixate on a spot in the room. It just helps that way I'm not moving my head too much. Moving the head can really alter your balance too. So finding a point in the room where you just want to look at. Three, two, relax. More balance after all of that. So this one, just a standard single leg balance. Again, having a chair by you, imaginary chair holding on to, or with weights. For this one, just bring one foot off the ground, holding it here. And for this one, your knees could be by each other. It could be up in front, out to the side, the leg could be behind. Whatever is comfortable for you. That chair, that counter if you need it. Again, kind of fixating on one spot in the room here. As long as you're not holding on to another person. Doing good. Almost there. Not sure where, but almost there. Three, two, relax. Good thing we got another foot. Let's try out the other one. So, lifting that other foot off the ground, fixating on a spot on the ground, not tilting your head, and just hold it. Not too flashy of an exercise. It's your flash, more flashy when you're doing curls or flies or something. This, you're just standing. But really important, very important to do. Keep holding. We have a really tough one after this, so. No, it's not that bad. Is it that bad? Eh, ooh. maybe. Three, two, Relax. Another balance one coming up here. For this balance, we're going to bring the leg 
bent and in front of us. So, again, a counter or a chair if you want to be by something. Lifting the leg up, leg is bent. The knee doesn't have to be hip height, it could be down here a little bit. Holding it, pulse it up and down. Just pulse it up and down. This is a pretty advanced one. So take your time. You could do a tiny pulse. If you'll make it easier, you could bring that foot lower, closer to the ground. You can make it harder. Keep that leg up nice and high. Whatever you're feeling. You also don't have to have weights in your hands. Again, by that chair, by that counter if you need to be. Three, two, relax. How oh, we'll do the other leg too, why not, why not? Bring that other leg up, hold it. Get that balance first, then add that pulse. Always make sure when you do one of these wacky twisting exercises, calf raise, get your balance first, and then add the hard part in. Doing good. Almost there. Getting closer. Thirty seconds left. Three, two, relax. Grabbing weights or hands together for this one, not doing balance right now. Feet shoulder width apart, toes kind of pointing forward so they're not out like so. We're gonna bring the hands down to the right hip, up and across the left. Right hip, up and across the left. You can keep your toes on the ground, heels off the ground if you wanna do more of a pivot. If the arms are hurting a little bit, bring those hands to shoulder height. Take some pressure off the arms that way. If you want to, reach up and down. Just think it's not those single leg balance exercises that we were just doing. Switching sides here. Left hip up and across. Left hip, up and across. Make it easier on those arms. Hands to shoulder height. Hands to shoulder height. However you want to. It could be a tiny twist also. You could just be right here. If you don't want to bring the hands down to the hips. You could go really far down to the knee if you want to. All right, showing it twice was good enough for me. That was good enough for me. Three, two, relax. Drop the weights. Let's stretch it out a little bit after all of that here. Ah, that was nice. Let's just have our hands at the side. Some nice slow shoulder rolls. Gosh, we packed a lot in that time. My gosh. I don't need to work out after this. Let's reverse it here. Nice and slow. There we go. Keeping that right heel on the ground. Bending the left leg, leaning forward. You could add a reach for those right toes, or you could just lean forward like so. Switching those legs, left heel on the ground, bending the right. You can reach for those toes or just Stay bent over. A 
coming up out of this here just doing a little twist reaching across we did a lot of twisting today so really making sure we're nice and loose after all that let's reach it up one more time Oh, that feels good. Do the deodorant check. Three, two, one. Cross the arms, inhale them up, exhale them down. Up again, down, up, down, up, down. One more, up. Down and I'll always finish my classes with hugs because you did such a good job today. Thanks for joining for the Body Basics. Hopefully, you can check out the other videos and keep working. Mm -hmm.